Hi, I'm Jake Melvin, and today we're going to look at the guidance office to meet some of the guidance counselors and see what they do. Let's get started. I enjoy just learning about you know what what our students like, what they enjoy. Um, I have great relationships with students, which is awesome because they can come in. We can have more of a one-on-one -on -one setting. Um, you know, I used to be in the classroom and taught for about 10 years. Uh, so it's just a little bit different dynamic, but when we come in uh, and just meet one-on-one, -on -one, you know, sometimes the, uh, um, you know, the shield kind of goes down. They can be a little more, you know, frank with, you know, how they feel about certain things. Or, so it's, it's a little bit different dynamic, and I, I love that part of it. And a lot of times, uh, you know, they open up about things they may not open up about to anybody else. My name is John Shackelford. I am the junior counselor here at Phoenixville Area High School for the class of 2017. A lot of people here, you know, counseling, so they think that we're uh, working with students maybe who are having troubles in school, um, who are uh, just even, you know, having a bad day all the way up through really serious problems. Uh, and all that's true. So we do a lot of different things. Academic work, uh, personal social issues, uh, also, you know, college and career planning as well. Um, so we do a lot going on there. Um, it's pretty comprehensive. Um, so the reason I actually became a guidance counselor, um, I actually was interested in going into psychology um, and was also interested in journalism and awareness and spreading awareness. Um, and I actually met with one of my professors in college and she said that I would be interested in doing something that's kind of at the forefront and meeting with students. Um, in public education, students are able to come to us. Um, we are kind of we're able to be kind of at the forefront and being able to help students reach their academics, but also reach community services if they need them. Um, so I definitely enjoy the fact that it's very different, it's very diverse, it has a good group of students, and all students um, have different interests. That keeps um, definitely keeps you on your toes because there's so many different career opportunities now for students, and everything's changing with um, social media, with the internet. Um, everything is kind of changing, all different, the globalization of the work um, the work, workforce is changing. Hi, I'm Kimberly Osborne and I'm a guidance counselor at Phoenix Valera High School and I serve the class of 2018. And one of the things students can do to have a meaningful meeting with their guidance counselor would be kind of thinking ahead and kind of building up some questions that they might have developed over time but haven't met with us necessarily. Um, we've been having one-on-one -on -one meetings um, this past February and into this week and next week where um, we've scheduled meetings with students to discuss scheduling for the 2016-2017 school year, also to discuss uh, NCAA, AP potential, in addition to different career interests. The so students who can think about that and plan for those meetings is very important. Um, but students just getting to know us, scheduling an appointment, not necessarily us calling students down, but students seeking us out is also very helpful. Um, and just kind of if they have any questions coming to us. Um, some students will shoot us an email um, if they have a question, but making sure they're staying on top of their graduation requirements in addition to us looking at that. So one of the main differences between the college counselor and the school counselors is that I primarily focus just on the college and career counseling for our students. The school counselors do focus with a lot of other areas of the counseling, social and emotional counseling. They work with students on course scheduling, um, things like that, where I work primarily just with the students to help them prepare for whatever they would like to do after high school, whether it's going on to college or military or career, um, overseeing the college application process and transcripts and letters of recommendation, meeting with students um, about SAT and ACT testing. The school counselors do that as well as part of their conversations that they're having with the students. Um, but a lot of times, you know, we work very closely together. So once they have that conversation with their student, they're then sending them to me so that I can continue working through the process with them. I'm Mrs. Marin Bala, the college and career counselor at Phoenixville Area High School. One of the biggest things that I enjoy about being a college counselor is the fact that I really get to work with the students on what their future goals are. Um, it's very rewarding when I get to start working with the students as early as you know, junior year and mapping out their timeline and helping them figure out what they want to major in, what their potential careers are, and then ultimately walking them through the process and helping them get to you know, the college that they want to go to or find that full-time job that they're interested in. So it's very rewarding um, and it's very exciting at the same time and that is one of the biggest things that I do enjoy about it. One of the challenges um, that I feel like there's just so many students. Um, so unfortunately, I, I do work with all students, you know, grades 9 through 12, but I primarily focus with just the juniors and the seniors because uh, they're the two classes that are really going through it at that time. Um, so I'd say one of the biggest challenges is just not getting enough time with the 9th and 10th graders, um, but they eventually will have their time as, you know, as they get older than in high school. Um, what I enjoy most about being a guidance counselor um, 
is that relationship you get to build with a student over the course of four years. Um, you know, a ninth grade student is very different than a 12th grade student. And it's an amazing feeling to see a ninth grade student come in, you know them, you know what their goals are, and then to see them at 12th grade, you know, they have a different set of goals or, you know, a student may have had some concerns early on in their freshman year, but by their senior year, they, they were able to work that out and reach some of those goals. And now they're looking to go to college. Um, and, and with that, one of the more difficult things is when you see a student and they're having a difficult time making good decisions and they don't necessarily understand how those decisions are, are, are going to hurt them in the future. Um, and that makes that that's hard sometimes because you you want to be able to help um, students through that, and sometimes it just takes time for them to understand um, that they they can't make the same decisions that they they were and what path that's leading them down. But it's always great to see those same students that had the most trouble and had the most difficulties come out of it and, and set other goals and and reach them and just understand how you know one decision can change the course of their life, good or good or bad. My name is Paul Bryant III. I'm the 12th grade school counselor here at Phoenixville Area High School. Um, I believe at the end of four years and meeting with students and constantly meeting with them every year, we, we go through each year, you know, your freshman year, what classes are you looking to enter into for your 10th grade year? Same in the 11th and always keeping in mind, what do you want to do after you leave Phoenixville Area High School? Um, so I think on a personal level and an academic level, Throughout the four years as a student, um, you get to know that student very well academically and personally because we're constantly want to make sure that um, we keep setting goals and reaching them and making sure that along the way you're on the right path to reach that final goal. Hi, my name is Liz Kilpatrick. I'm a counselor here at Phoenixville Area High School serving class of 2019. Uh, well, this year being uh, the class of 2019, and last year I had the class of 2015, so they were seniors um, working with 18-year-olds and then going down and working with ninth graders, there's a big shift. Um, considering when I was working with seniors, I was mostly working with students. I very rarely heard from parents unless there was a big concern about graduation. It was mostly the seniors taking a role, the lead role in their education and kind of um, you know, making decisions about their future for themselves with, of course, their parents helping them, but they're the ones that were more advocating for themselves. Having freshmen, I'm talking a lot more with parents because, um, one, they're a little bit anxious about their son or daughter going into ninth grade, but um, two, ninth graders seem to need a little bit more support still from their parents. So it's really neat to kind of see the growth each year and students being able to um, kind of take the lead in their education and be able to advocate for themselves and if they need something come see me not because their mom said their mom emailed me and said can you check on this student it's because they came and asked for help or support so I think um, there's a lot of growth that happens between ninth and twelfth grade which is kind of a neat thing to work as a counselor to kind of see that and see students really develop um, their areas of interest see where their life is sort of taking them and making those decisions along the way uh, one of the biggest changes I've, I've had in working with uh, students over the past 13 years is the location and setting that I've worked in. So I, I came from an inner city um, Philadelphia schools and worked there for about 10 years before coming to Phoenixville. And so, um, but the, the needs are still great for students. I think one thing that's changing is that the role of counseling is moving on more just for from scheduling, but it's actually you know helping students with mental health concerns um, and just you know self-esteem issues and and I think that's an important part of, of being a support and advocate um, as a counselor. It's more than just academic and scheduling um, to our to our roles here at the school.